I think 2019 is going to be a really exciting year for EPAD. Um, you know, the, the IMI period of the project finishes at the end of this year, five years of funding. Uh, but clearly, we're going to continue on beyond 2019, right through 2020 and for many years to come. So what we've got to do in 2019 is really manage that transition as effectively as possible. In order to understand where IPAD is moving forward, what we are calling now IPAD 2, we have to understand all the work that we have done during the previous year and the work that is coming up during this year. So in previous year, we set up all the IPAD infrastructure, the registry, the LCS, and the POC platform is already set up. Now we have to accommodate that for IPAD 2. What does that mean? We have to build up the sustainability phase of the project in order to make this flow extremely easy and sustainable over time. EPAT has been built to really um, facilitate proof of concept trials. Now, we started a few years ago and these are really exciting times because by now we have uh, many sites already up and running in to, to uh, do phenotyping of their subjects who ultimately might uh, go into a POC trial. So these are really um, exciting times, uh, more because we also built the platform to really facilitate um, a quick startup for these POC trials. So it looks like we might make, make the goal of uh, EPAT very soon. I think that particularly the trials component, the POC, concept is a uh, highly innovative and it's probably a world leading um, consortium and um, will really make a change I think in Alzheimer's. And I think for me personally what I'd like to do is make sure that the, the broader EPAD community, the investigators, the sites, the partners get a lot more involved in the, in the overall management, delivery, vision of the project. So I think this is a, a really good opportunity in the next year to, to listen to all the people with the EPAD family and get their views of what they'd like to do in the future.